Are you trying to improve your Wi-Fi? Well, this might be the solution for you. This is a TP-Link, specifically it's a Wi-Fi 6E. So what that means is it's an 802.11ax standard enhanced. So what's enhanced you say? Well, let's go take a look quickly at what you're used to. So usually you'd have something like a router with a bunch of antennas. This is an 802.11ac. And that was quite powerful for the time. And of course, things along the way, you know, took different forms. And you'd see things like uh, access points, which are, you know, small. And you'd plug them onto a, uh, for example, small business room at home. If you've got suspended ceilings, plug them in. Well, they've moved on to something that's a little more, uh, let's say, deco. And that's why it's in the name. So what you'll find is this is prettier. And this model basically is an XE5300. Uh, I have to take a look at it since it's a number, a little hard to remember. Um, it's a tri-band Wi-Fi. So this should actually help eliminate dead spots. I mean, that's one of the reasons why they sell this as a kit. So what you've got is not one, not two, we get three of them inside of a box in this case. Of course, you can purchase a single unit or a dual unit. And this is actually the kit that comes with three of them. So by the way, if you like this video, of course, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. That really, really helps us out and we love you for it. So let's go ahead and open this and talk a little bit more about what you can expect from this or these units since there is more than one. So it's kind of a pretty box. I mean, it's got a lot of information on there. Um, again, the specifications are written right on the box. But let's go ahead and take a quick look. We've actually taken some out but they come looking like this. They're real easy to set up. So basically what you want to do is you want to take one of these units and we'll show you what's inside. Of course, there is a power supply that goes with this. And the idea is that they're supposed to look pretty. So you can put them potentially uh, next to a plant or something else in your home. And this will give you, uh, you know, I guess something that's a little more a little nicer on the eyes anyways than something that you would just put into or connected to your ceiling. Um, now, so as all devices, what you'll need is to have one of these connected through one of these, basically back to your router or your internet. So it has to have connectivity from there. When they come in a kit and you have multiple of these, what's nice is you can then go obviously within range of the Wi-Fi. And when you connect the second one or third one, they will communicate using a new band. So if you're familiar with the old 802.11 AC or AX, and they moved on to five gigahertz, well, these actually add, and that's where the enhancement uh, or enhanced comes into the name. These will actually work in six gigahertz uh, frequency. So it's, what's really nice about it is for right now, it's not a crowded frequency. So meaning that these things will not be competing against other, uh, you know, devices you may have in the house and so forth. So it'll get great connectivity. And of course, by having all these different channels together, what you'll find is you'll get more bandwidth. These things are quite intelligent at, uh, you know, locating you. So if you've got a cell phone or a tablet or a laptop, you're moving around, uh, it will hop to the one that has the clearest signal for you. And it can also frequency hop. So we'll jump from one frequency to the other or use multiple frequencies at the same time in some cases. So of course it all depends on what you're using on the other end, but there's a lot of technology that's added to make this work as seamlessly as possible. It's uh, with the app, the configuration, the installation is real simple. So inside this accessory box, as you can imagine, you're gonna find power for each one of the units. And you will find a single Ethernet cable. So you'll plug one of these to your router or your switch. And there's also a very small installation guide here. And uh, it's not, uh, it's actually pretty thick, but it, it basically, it's like a map, it comes out and it's uh, pretty basic instructions that look pretty much like this to install. So that's what's in the box. Okay, I wanna make sure that you understand the specifications on here. So when they're talking about, you know, 5,300 megabits per second, or they're talking about a coverage of 7,200 square feet, and you can connect 200 devices uh, to these, 
keep in mind that this is in a lab environment, this is in open space. For example, if you're in a warehouse where you work uh, and you have these, then you can potentially reach close to the maximums. If you're in a brick building uh, or cement, you know, you have cement walls, dividing offices and so forth, the range may not be as good. Uh, speeds won't be as good. Of course, if you're at the extremity, um, you know, the very edge of where it covers, speeds won't be uh, as great as if you're very close in proximity to one of these. So, in summary, what you want to try to do is obviously to spread these out around your house, potentially in all the extremities. If you've got uh, blind spots and so forth, it's really nice because you can just go ahead and put power, plug it in, it will talk to the one that is connected to the internet and then at that point uh, you'll, you'll be synced to that. We have uh, compared it to things like, uh, you know, these are older 802.11 AC, but we compared it to a few different ones and we were able to see speed boosts and a lot better range as well. So we'll give it that. It seems like TP-Link and other companies are using the new 6E for the Wi-Fi uh, do deliver on their promise in most cases. Of course, it is a case by case. You do want to test it out in your environment to make sure that, uh, you know, everything works as advertised. So in summary, these are great little uh, devices and the fact that they've added a whole frequency to it, the six gigahertz, does give you an advantage. You will be in a frequency that is not used presently by other devices. So since you, you're going to be one of the early adopters, I bet, uh, you'll be on your own frequency for a while. And of course, as we keep adding these, then it will have to compete with the 5 gigahertz and the very, very popular 2.4, which is already uh, very used by a lot of things such as, uh, you know, webcams and who knows what else is out there. So uh, I was going to say, oh, the other thing to note too with these in closing is that uh, these are compatible to older technology, meaning that if you buy one of these and it's Wi-Fi 6E, if you have a Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 5, which is 802.11 AC, for example, those will still connect. The 2.4 gigahertz in here basically goes back to things like 802.11 A or G and so forth. So they should be backward compatible to devices you may already have in your home or business. So I'm Bob Pellow and CTO Bob. I hope you've enjoyed this. Of course, you can leave us some comments below. We love reading those. And you can reach us at www.ctobob.com. We hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.